second class speaker, A.J. Coletta. A.J. is a full-time instructor of multimedia design at New England Institute of Technology in Warwick, Rhode Island. Earning his master's degree in management from the Graduate Center gave him the knowledge and confidence to effectively initiate, plan, and execute large-scale projects, including his recent portfolio enhancement plan, a college-wide proposal to improve the quality of, of creative portfolios students produce within their degrees. AJ lives in Warwick with his fiance Malice and their beloved cat Media. <laughs> they are preparing for their September wedding, including a winter holiday, a winter holiday ceremony in Cambodia, Malice's country of origin. Please greet Jay Collette. <laughs> Special thanks to my family and especially my fiance Melissa, who's now taking a photo. <laughs> um, my loving companion during those long snow covered treks up to Vermont and those stressed out weekends working on my final project. Uh, I'm not going to look at Melissa because she's going to be I'd like to share a short story about opportunity, a personal story that uh, reflects some wonderful opportunities in my life. The word opportunity is defined by Webster's Dictionary as a favorable or advantageous circumstance or combination of circumstances, a chance for progress or advancement. As a young man, my father, Anthony Coletta, seated right there, uh, my father offered me the opportunity to be part of Coletta's downtown auto service, a family business my grandfather started in 1957, located in Providence, Rhode Island. I spent several years working in towing, auto repair, and body shop departments, learning as much as I could with the hopes that someday I could later allow Dad to know they were talking about. That never happened. The world of auto repair never really interested me. My thing was music, and someday I would be a rock star. Uh, Mom and Dad were as tolerant as possible while I worked to figure out what I could do to actually make money. Playing late night gigs and working early mornings at the garage was not a good combination. Uh, I was late to work so often that I would occasionally drive to the garage after a gig and fall asleep on the towing dispatcher's desk to ensure that I was on time. I would often see my dad come in at 7 in the morning and say, well, at least you're on time. Uh, thanks, man. Uh, I did my best to embrace the various facets of the business. I found, I found towing to be the most enjoyable, primarily because it allowed me the chance to drive around the city and put up posters for my next band's gig. <laughs> uh, now picture a big yellow tow truck with flashing lights and me stepping out in a blue jumpsuit and uh, staple gun in hand putting up posters. That was, that was me. Uh, but towing during the winter months really took its toll for me. I remember a day in early January, I was given a call to tow a car illegally parked in a Brown University parking lot. Uh, the car was front-wheel drive, and it was facing into its spot, and it was covered with a thick layer of snow and ice, and the car was securely locked. Uh, I backed my tow truck up to the rear of the car, and I began to slide underneath the vehicle with the ice and snow to disconnect the linkage, which is a rod that connects from the shifting handle down to the transmission that allows you to put it into neutral so you can roll the car back. Um, as I began to loosen the main connector pin, a stream of icy, muddy water was dripping down on my forehead. And then from there, it would go down to my neck and soak my blue jumpsuit. Um, quickly, I rolled out from underneath the vehicle, cursing like a sailor. Uh, as, I, as I crawled out from underneath the car, uh, I stopped and watched two students walking by. They were clean happy and full of enthusiasm. <laughs> this was it. This was my opportunity. College, why didn't I think of this years ago? <laughs> and I, I found this quote, which I think is very appropriate. Thomas Edison wrote, the reason a lot of people do not recognize opportunity 
is because it usually goes around wearing overalls, looking like hardware. <laughs> a couple of months later, I was accepted to the University of Massachusetts at Lowell, ready to pursue my bachelor's degree in sound recording technology. Even though I was happy to start college, I felt a lot of regret and often asked myself, by leaving, am I letting dad and my family down by leaving the family business? Where the years he invested teaching me the business all a waste of time. But he knew I was unhappy in the business and recognized that this was indeed my opportunity to pursue my passion. During my first term at UMass, I switched majors from music to multimedia design after seeing an overload of students all applying for the same limited music internships. Music would always be a passion, it still is, that I cannot deny, but at this stage in my life, a more reliable career choice just made sense. After graduation, I started a successful web design business, Eastside Media, which I ran for 10 years. I would often invite students from around the School of Design to work as interns, teaching them the business and giving them insight into the industry. Now fast forward several years, and I now teach multimedia design at New England Tech in Warwick, Rhode Island, a technical college based right in the, uh, the center of the state. In order to continue teaching at the college level, a master's degree, degree was required. I explored various degrees, but the concept of management, my MSN degree, was intriguing. Having the skills to effectively manage projects and large groups of talent was invaluable both as an educator, designer, and musician. Um, that thought process immediately made me think about dad and the family business. How wonderful would it be to share my newly acquired management skills with dad, a man who took a simple gas station and built it into one of the largest and most respected towing facilities in New England. When Lisa Sieverts and Peter Crow began discussions with me regarding my choice for a capstone sponsor, uh, the decision was easy. I chose Paletta's Garage. It was wonderful working with that. We discussed various options that could be addressed, but my fondness for the towing department brought a sense of nostalgia uh, and pride that I really wanted to revisit with him. We successfully initiated and executed a plan that improves the management and monitoring of his large fleet of towing vehicles. Now I finally look back to the day when I wore that blue jumpsuit and when I told Dad I was leaving the business. On that day I was presented with an opportunity, an opportunity to leave the business, but also an opportunity for my personal growth. And now with, the grad with my graduation complete and my capstone experience, it's given me the opportunity to happily return back to my dad and the business and share what I've learned. Thank you.